and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use i3 with the mate desktop environment Now you can do this basically with any window manager. I'm just going to do it with i3, but you can change window managers. You need to have i3 installed and you need to have everything basically ready to go. You don't need to have a config file or anything yet. That can also be generated, but you do need i3 installed and all of its parts. Cool. Now I'm going to just log out and then I'm going to boot up into Mate because that's where we'll have to do the whole mixing of the two. Now, take note, I'm doing this on an Arch-based system, but you can also do this on an Ubuntu-based system and a Debian-based system, basically anywhere. All right, so first we need to install something. So I'm going to open up the terminal. Now this terminal, we can just say sudo pacman dash s. Now, if you're coming from an Ubuntu or Debian-based system, you might want to use apt and not pacman dconf editor we need the dconf editor in order to do everything we're going to do right now to merge the two cool now once you have it installed you can just say dconf i mean dconf editor of course you'll get this and you should take note of this you can break your system if you play with things you shouldn't be in here so just be careful now also take note, I would also urge you to back up your system just in case you do something you shouldn't and it breaks your system. So just back it up and yeah. Now first we want to go to org. We then want to go to Mate. We then want to go to desktop. Then to session. And then we want to change the required components. So here in required components. And this window manager, we don't want to use Marco. We now want to use i3. Also, if I'm moving too fast or talking too fast, feel free to slow down the video. Both YouTube and Odyssey has the feature built in to change video speeds. I recommend you do use these if I'm too fast or if I'm too slow. All right, and then once you have set this to i3, you can just say check. So this will basically now use i3 instead of Mark or whatever window manager you were using. Next up, we can go back to session, so the session folder. And in here, right down here, the required components list. We need to change a few things here. So currently it requires this file manager and just check, use default value, just uncheck that. And it requires this file manager. And we don't really want this because this is going to just cause a bunch of problems. Uh, you don't have to worry about removing this. If you remove it, it's not going to cause a, ma a massive error. You just need to remove that. Say check. Now you'll notice there's no longer a file manager in here. So you don't want that to be one of the required items. Cool. Now, once you have done that, you can just close out of this You can close out of this window and you can just log out. All right, then you can log back in. Now, it is using the i3 window manager. So we can move through things. You can open up your whatever you do. It does use the uh, the config file inside of your i3. So just take note of that. So if you want to modify something here, it's going to use that. Now, currently, you have two choices you can make. You can either keep the Mate panels or the i3 panels. Now both of them has their own benefits and their own downsides. Personally, I believe that you should keep the Mate panel because that's part of the desktop environment anyways. So that will give you a more desktop-like experience. Just like remove this bottom one and add all of the things here to the top or remove the top one and all add all of that to the bottom one. But if you do want to use this panel, then you can. 
So let me show you first how to remove the i3 panel because that's the fastest and easiest. So you need to edit the confile of i3. If you just installed i3 and you did this, you'll probably have like a pop-up to generate it. And I would recommend you click that pop-up. Anyhow, so I believe we have XED. Yes. We can then go and open up dot conf, I believe. i3 config. Yes. So inside of your home folder, you want to go to dot config and then into i3. And then you want to open up that config. Now here, we just want to find bar because bar is currently what's being showed to us so let's go and find it here we go so this bar right here you just want to uncomment or you just want to comment all of this so you don't have to worry about it so like that there so this is the entire bar i'm just quickly before i'm going to save this just create a copy of it so cp dot or actually just go, go into my config folder cd i3 cp config to config dash buck for backup so i don't have to remember anything okay now i can save this and now if you press windows shift and r you'll notice it's no longer there we have removed the bar so if you want to remove it from i3 this is the way to go However, if you want to remove it, let me just back up all of this. However, if you want to remove the panels here instead, then you have to go a different route. So let's just quit that. You'll notice if I go here and I say delete this panel, it works. So Mate does delete that panel. But if I go up here and I also want to delete this panel, you can't. It says delete this panel is just grayed out. So we can go to deconf editor and I'll be careful and then in here we can start modifying things so currently we're inside of the required components we can just remove this panel so it's basically the same path as what we took before we're just already inside of the required components we can just say check and now if we were to log out and log back in and we can just say our password. If we log back in, you'll notice the Mate panels are gone. So you can do this if you want to do this. I'm just not a big fan of doing this specifically because it also a little bit defeats the purpose of having a desktop manager or a desktop environment if you're going to remove most of the desktop environment things. But yeah, currently we're using i3 with mate and we can actually check that by going here and setting our display to what it should be and if we go here we can say pseudo pacman dash s neofetch and I also recommend doing this inside of a vm before you actually do it on your real machine just to make sure that everything you have can work along with this especially if you're on arch Okay, now we can just say Neo Fitch. And you can see Window Manager, i3, Desktop Environment, Mate. And yeah, as you can see, it also doesn't use a lot of memory. It basically uses the same as if you were to just use normal i3. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you use i3 with Mate. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all again in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.